I'm going to do a couple of test prints here, and in order to do these test prints, I'm going to run the platen out where I can get to it. And when you line the paper up, you need to line it all the way to the far edge. And so, I mean, again, I'm going to just run the platen in all the way. The printer still thinks it has paper over here, so you need to put the paper really, really close to the side. Okay. And um, then you just go in here and you run a, print, a, a, a nozzle check. And the print head will come out of its little cave and it'll run across here and run a nozzle check. And I recommend doing this because this validates that the printer is functioning internally. And then the second test is to run a, a test page. So we'll do that here in a second. And you can see here, I've got my test page. You probably can't see it, but I can, and it looks great. And so I'm still using the Epson inks. Okay, so I'm going to toss this piece of paper and now I'm going to run the platen back in again and I'm going to run a test image. Now, the first time I did this, I got a little hung up on, I didn't know I needed to run the platen in and I didn't know I needed to turn the automatic sheet detection and skew check and all the other paper crap off. And so I wasn't able to print, uh, it took me a couple hours to figure all this out. So this, this stuff's actually pretty important and I apologize if it seems like this kind of drags on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna find a picture on my uh, computer. And let's see, here's a great one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print this. All right, here we go. We're about to finally start printing. I'm not real, I'm not convinced that this printed properly. Oh, we got an OF6 error code. Which I suspect. That's not a good sign. So we gotta address this. Okay, so we're booted back up. We've wasted another ten, fifteen dollars worth of ink. Now I'm going to print a supply status page and just see if I'm printing. Oops.
Shame on me. Gotta have that print head, print platen all the way in first. The problem is definitely with this encoder wheel and the problem was it was not far enough in which was causing it to rub and I also think the belt was too tight. These belts do not need to be very tight. Oh wow that was fun. Well maybe it does need to be tighter. So we'll, that was fun. We got some chatter going on there. So we'll loosen these two screws. And then we'll gently reach up in here and just tension this puppy to the point where it doesn't uh, flutter like that. Because that's definitely a problem. needs to go in further to compensate. So the way you do this is you reach in on this side and you push. And you got to be careful because you can push it in too hard. All right, I think we're good. So I think we just need to turn it off and turn it back on. There we go. So this encoder wheel wasn't tight enough and it wasn't in far enough. And I'm printing on my platen. Lovely. Mm. But it's printing. Alright, so you should always print these kind of sheets because this tells you that everything is working. So there you go. I've got a supply status sheet. So let me get another piece of paper and I'll print a picture. So what I did is I just wiped off the platen. I'm going to send the platen back in. And my next video, I'm going to put buttons in so I don't have to use the virtual thing. And I'm going to slide my paper all the way over. I'm going to go back to my image and I'm going to hit print. And hopefully this time magic's going to happen, not aggravation, because we've had enough aggravation on this video. And besides which, my battery's almost dead on my camera. So it looks like it's turned my image sideways, but I, you know, I don't care at this point. I'm printing an image on paper. It's, it's in focus, it's readable, and even though there's a lot of distance between the paper and the print head, it still looks fantastic. I hear a little click and I want to know where it's coming from.
in. I've used about half of the Epson paper inks. And again, you know, the basic process here is you finish the mechanical build, you finish the electrical build, you, you program the all-in-one board, and then you verify that the printer functions and you've got all the kinks worked out of it by printing a nozzle check, a status page, and then print some images on paper. This is a whole lot cheaper than t-shirts, I promise. And then the next step is we flush the ups and inks out and we convert over to direct to garment. So, there we have it. And I've got a little bit of junk around the edges and I don't, I don't know, maybe that's just the distance here, but this picture is passable. Um, I, I don't think this is perfect by any stretch of the imagination for being on a shirt, but that's okay. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to get rid of having to use the virtual terminal. I'm going to put some buttons right here in the front of the printer that set single and double pass and um, do other fun things.